I'm Lee, and this week I need to finish a draw knife. Now, if you haven't seen the previous video where I forged this out, just click down here on the solid steel ironworks and go to the last video. But if you have, let's get started. So during the week, I went ahead and gave this vinegar bath. You see it's a lot cleaner than it was. Got all that forge scale off of there. Now today I'm gonna start with, I'm gonna grind this straight because I wanna bend these handles around. Once I do that, it's gonna be hard to get to. So I'm gonna do that first. I'm not gonna bore you with that grinding. I'm just gonna even it up with this one. And then I'm gonna start bending these handles. And to do that, I have bending dogs that I'm gonna use so I have a nice clean bend through this corner. All right, both sides are bent. It's looking pretty good. Now I need to get some handles for this because I want to burn them in. So I don't want to heat treat the blade and then try to heat this up and pull the heat treat out of this corner of the blade. So I'm going to do all this first, which may be a little bit backwards, but it's what I have in mind. Now I have some junk wood that I don't really like to waste wood too much. And this is off a chair and it's oak. I know that. So I'm going to go ahead and use it. I'm going to cut a pattern out of here for the handles and I'm going to go ahead and cut those out with a jigsaw and then that will give me a really good start for my handles. I have my handles cut out. Now I just need to set these up on and kind of get a rough trace. Put them somewhere close to the bottom. I'm going to drill these and then I'm going to burn the handles in. Now I'm just going to burn this handle in. Got the handles burning, now it's time to do some grinding. All right, I have this ground. Now I just went to like 60 grit because it doesn't have to be real perfect at the moment because I still have to heat treat it. I left a little bit of meat right here. I could have stood to have a little bit more, but I got a little bit thin out there on the edge. It's looking good so far. Everything's working out pretty good. Like I said, I lost these corners a little bit, not too big a deal. Now I'm going to heat treat this and I only want to heat treat the cutting edge because that's really all that needs it on this. The backbone's 3 8 Even if it does flex, it's going to be awful hard. You'd really have to pull on it. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave the backbone soft. So to do this, I had to make a little bit of a device to heat treat. It's probably not the greatest solution, but it's what I'm going to use today.
that craziness work. The backbone's soft, the front side is nice and hard. So now I need to temper this. So I'm gonna do that in my oven because I don't have anything out here big enough to fit this in. But everything looks pretty good. I can check it for straightness. And it held up very well for that. Now that was not ideal way to heat treat this, but it's what I had available. So I made that real quick. Now I gotta use some oil dry to get that oil off my floor. But other than that, it worked perfect. While that's tempering, I'm gonna work on the handles for that. Here it is, finally done, works perfect, it's nice and sharp. I like the square handles I put on it, I think they look nice. These turned out good. Now if you've seen that I had to kind of upset these a little bit, it's because I made this top of the handle a little too small, I should have made it a little bit bigger and then this three quarter inch pipe would have fit over it. It worked out though. This is all epoxied in. It's gonna function perfect. Now I have a brand new draw knife. This was a good project. I enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next week.